nitrogen makes up approximately 78% of the air around us. Oxygen makes up 21% and the remaining 1% contains other gases such as carbon dioxide, helium, water vapor and rare gases. In this lesson, we will learn about the properties and uses of these gases in our lives. Let's start with the general properties of the four main gas types in the air. Nitrogen, Oxygen, Carbon Dioxide and Rare Gases. We will compare their properties with this simple table. All of the four types of gases are odorless and colorless except some rare gases which glow in the presence of electricity. Nitrogen, oxygen and the rare gases are tasteless gases. But carbon dioxide has a sour taste. All the gases are slightly soluble in water. Nitrogen, carbon dioxide and rare gases do not burn. They also do not support the burning process. Of the four gas types, Oxygen is the only gas required for burning. Nitrogen and carbon dioxide are not very reactive components of air. Oxygen, on the other hand, is very reactive. Unlike oxygen, the rare gases are inactive. Hmm, potato chips. Do you know how chips remain fresh in their bag? They stay fresh because of the non-reactive property of nitrogen. Nitrogen is filled in the food packages to keep them fresh for a longer time. Nitrogen is also used in the storage of explosives in tanks, in light bulbs to prevent the filament from burning, in nitrogen-based fertilizers, and in dyes and medicines. Do you want to see a cool trick? This is not smoke from ice cream. It's liquid nitrogen which is used as a coolant. It's also used to store blood samples in hospitals to keep them fresh. The man is taking deep breaths. Do you know why we breathe? We breathe to bring oxygen into our blood. All living things need oxygen to live. Oxygen helps in the breakdown of food in our body to provide energy to our cells. When we breathe, we inhale all gases present in the air. But only oxygen is used by the body. We exhale carbon dioxide and all the other gases. We breathe with our nose and from there the air goes to our lungs. Fish breathe in water and filter oxygen that is dissolved in the water. They breathe with special organs on the bodies called gills. There are other uses of oxygen as well. For example, oxygen is needed for burning. In hospitals, oxygen tanks are used to help patients to breathe. Mountain climbers and astronauts also rely on oxygen tanks where natural oxygen levels are low. It is used in welding and to burn fuel in rockets. Do you know that plants also breathe? But unlike us, they inhale carbon dioxide from the air to carry out the process of photosynthesis during the day. They also carry out respiration in which they breathe in oxygen and exhale carbon dioxide. There are some other uses of carbon dioxide as well. Carbon dioxide is used to create bubbles in soft drinks and in fire extinguishers. Cakes become fluffy when carbon dioxide is produced during baking. Do you want to see more magic? That is a quick freeze. Can you guess what's doing this? This is carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide is easily frozen into its solid form, which is called dry ice. 
Dry ice is used to preserve food. What is this? Any guess? Those are the dust particles visible in the sunbeam. Air also contains dust particles. Also, the rate of evaporation from plants and animals is controlled by the amount of water vapor present in the air. But sometimes, this water vapor forms smog. When there is smoke in the air, the fog or water vapor in the air combine with smoke and form smog. Let's test your understanding. Which of the following gases are used in the colorful signboards? Neon glows when electricity is passed through it. Different colored neon lights are made by adding a coating inside the glass tubing. We learned that air is made up of four main gas types. Each gas has its own properties and applications. Some applications are essential to life such as respiration, photosynthesis and burning. Other applications have industrial value such as food preservation, lighting, etc.